because these piles need to support the retaining wall right on the edge of the pond. Going deeper gives the wall a much stronger base. We also have to be careful here because the water is only about three feet away from where we're operating. That tight space adds another challenge to this build. Each hole has to sit exactly on the marks we set earlier. If we miss even by a few centimeters, it becomes much harder to set the wall to match the axis lines. So before each hole, we flatten the surface with a shovel just to give the drill a stable start. Drilling next to water is always a bit tricky. The holes fill with water pretty quickly, so we move fast and get the concrete in right after drilling. These piles already have some water sitting at the bottom, but the concrete will push it out as we pour. That's why we fill each pile right after drilling. If we leave them empty for a few hours, they'd fill completely with water. And once each pile is filled with concrete, we drop the rebar cages into place and line them up with the axis lines. And for the last step, we shape the tops of the piles with a hollow bucket. This bucket has the same diameter as the pile, so it fits perfectly for this job. 